God is good, isn't he? Yes. And then into the 
selfish thing to not give the vaccine. And finally, we can pray with those of other ones suddenly coming in the life of the world around the world. But we can hear you. It is, we are suffering from the pandemic, Father. We have the vaccines, but we have those that will not take the vaccines. And Father, we are suffering from the climate change mm, great around the world, Father. Yeah. We have wildfires on the West Coast. We have torrential downpours mm -hmm. in Germany. They have lost 125 lives in Georgia, I mean, in, in, in Germany. And they have lost many homes, and there are many hundreds that are still missing because of the high waters. There are floods happening here in, in the United States. We ask, Father, that you will bless those who have lost their home because of the yeah. Who have lost their home because of the wildfires. Who have lost their lives Break because up. of the Break wildfires. Up. And Father, we have more than we have a racist pandemic. Mm. And this racist pandemic, Father, is not just here in the United States, it's all over. We have those, Father, who believe that they are better than others. They have their own legitimate, Father, and they feel that what they want is what's important. It's not what others want, it's what they want that's important. Father, we need leaders this and at this time. They have a conscience ruled by your spirit more than ever. More than ever before, Father. We pray, Father, that you will touch our ladies. Touch their hearts, Father. And Father, we pray that they will have a conscience that will be more, that will be highly influenced, Father. By your spirit. We ask, Father, that you would touch them now. Please, Father. We need you, Father, more than ever. Yes. And we need you and we need your people yes. more than ever. Yes. Bless the churches around the world. Please, Father. Bless those, Father, who are, who are, who are protesting yes. and protesting peacefully, my, my. Father. And Father, we just pray that you would bless their resolve and strengthen them that they may continue to get into good trouble. Yeah. This prayer, Father, we are praying in the name yeah. of our Lord and Savior, yeah. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We are so thankful for that prayer, my, my prayer for the world. We always give a prayer for the world, and now we're going to uh, just go and we, 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 we know that these kinds of prayers for our world uh, is very much needed today. I don't know if you've been following us along, you know, but we, we, we pray for the immediate body. Uh, Minister Anderson is going to come and do that. But I just want to say a word because I, I think it's so very, very important that not only just for us here in our family, uh, worldwide, because there's a lot of things going on. If you just watch the news, uh, our world is just filled with this action, all kinds of things going on. And we need 
these kinds of prayers. Not, not just for the Pemberton Hill Church, uh, but all those who believe in our believers. Uh, we need to pray these kinds of prayers uh, as one. Uh, that the Lord may hear our, our cries and always come to our rescue. This time we're going to have uh, Minister Anderson to come and just uh, pray for us and our conditions and that we continue to embrace all that's going on. God bless you. Good morning to everyone out there this morning. Um, happy to be in your sight this morning. Uh, pray that all is well. Pray with me. Most gracious and everlasting God, it is once again, dear Father, we uh, ask uh, that you uh, listen to our humble cry on this morning. We're praying, dear Master, to an almighty God that sits up high, but he's able to look down low. And we're praying, and Master, we ask him that you would lend an ear to our humble cry. This morning, dear Father God, we know that you're going to look after us, you're going to protect us, you're going to wrap your loving arms around us like you always have. But this morning, we, 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 we're praying for those special prayers, for those things that sometimes seemed impossible. But you, for you, dear God, nothing is impossible. The scripture asks, is there anything too hard for God? No, not nothing. Is there anything too small to ask for? No, not nothing. Father God, we ask you this morning that you touch every household here that is under the sound of my weak voice here in Dallas, Texas. We ask him that you touch every household here that, 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 that is listening, and they may be in Longview, Texas, but they're listening. They may be in Fort Worth, but they're listening. Every household that's listening this morning, we ask that your presence be made known in their household. We ask that your spirit be with them, encourage them, and lift them up, and let them know that you're still God, and you're still God Almighty, and you sit on the throne, and there's nothing, there's nothing too big for you. Then, Father, and we'll, we'll pray to you because you're a big God. You're a big God. You're as big as big, and you're wide as wide, you're deep as deep. You're just that kind of God. And so that's why we're praying to you this morning. Because you'll listen to our humble cry. You'll hear us. And Master, we're, we're asking this because we're your children. We're your children. And we're asking this, dear God, because we know that you won't, you won't, you won't fail in blessing us with what we need. Help us, dear Father God, as we uh, 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 go through these pandemics and as we go through these uh, issues of life that we're in, in, embarking on and that we're in uh, uh, at these times in our cities, dear Master, we know that you're going to be victorious over them because you, you always have. You, you've never lost a battle. There's never been a battle that you've lost. And so we're, we're ambassadors, and we're on your side, and we're fighting with you. The battle of peace, the battle of victory, the battle of I can. I, we're fighting with you, dear Master, on this morning. Our prayers are being lifted up. Our voices are being lifted up. Our heads are being lifted up. Our hands are up in the air. We're praising you, dear God, for all the victories that are about to come in our lives. Dear Master, we pray for another victory this morning that your manservant come. And he speaks so well and so bold that somebody that's listening will be encouraged on this morning. Yeah. From the words that he speak, we ask that you lift him up, yeah. that you let him speak, ah. and let, that, let your let your speak spirit be heard inside his voice. Let your power be in his in his in in, in, in his in his voice in his voice and in his chest. Let it come out and let it speak to somebody this morning. Let it encourage somebody this morning. We're lifting him up. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Again, we are so thankful and grateful to all that God has done, He is doing, and will continue to uh, to do. The Lord is my shepherd. I was able to wake up this morning from a, a slumbering sleep. Sometimes we don't think that's much, but there are many who went to bed on last night and they were not able to get up on this morning. So we thank God for that. The Lord, he's my shepherd. Hey, there's something to eat on this morning. The Lord is my shepherd. Some kind of shelter over my head. The Lord is my shepherd. Some kind of transportation to take me to and fro. The Lord is my shepherd. I am now present, whether it's virtually or here presently? Yes. But I'm present. You know. Yes. And, and, and there are so many that uh, are not present. So I thank God that God's blessed me. Yes. To see this day. Yes. Which has been coming uh, since the beginning of time. Yes. But it just uh, reached today, on today. So I thank God. Yes. And this is one day at a time because this day will never be again. Yes. This day mm -hmm. will never be again. And we thank God that we are present on this day. Y'all all right? I want you to be all right today. Uh, God is good. And we know that he is because he continues to bless. Mm -hmm. I, I want just a, a few moments from a familiar text and I want you to follow me uh, as I get into the lesson just for a few moments. And I want to talk from these few verses of Joshua, uh, and the chapter is 1, mm -hmm. 8, 9, and 10. I read, and it says, let's say, this book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth. God well, is talking to Joshua here. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Yes. And then thou uh, shalt have good success. Have not I this is God. Come on. Have not I commanded thee? What did you command me, God? To be strong, a good carriage. Don't be afraid, neither be dismayed. Okay. For the Lord thy God is with thee, uh -huh. whithersoever thou goest. Wherever you go, I'm with you. And verse number 10 says, Then Joshua right. commanded the officers of the people. Yes. Saying. Yes. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I want to lift from these few verses the subject, how do I Stay encouraged. I wish I had time for this lesson, but y'all need to listen to this one. How do I stay encouraged? When Webster talks about encouragement, <laughs> he just simply says it's to give support to someone. Okay. Confidence. Hope that they can continue 
That he know 
You got to give them encouragement. You got to tell them you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, uh, encourage them. That's right. You can do it. That's right. <laughs> you can make it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I see them sitting on the sideline up there. We can win. We can do this. Come on here. Uh, don't you don't you dare get uh, uh, disencouraged. You got to stay in carriage. <laughs> you been, you're about to go up or something. Let, let me show you something. Let, let me help you right here. I'm going to give you something, but I got to help you here. These weights. Yes. Yes. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Those weights. Look at here, look at here, look at here, look at here. But I need the rubber to tell me That's right. because I yes. don't believe That's right. that I can lift that weight. That's right. That's right. I got you. He knows that you can. That I, mm -hmm. He knows that I can lift it. But the problem is not with the weight. The problem is, I don't believe that I can lift it. Mm -hmm. So what did he say? <laughs> Pastor, you can do it. You can lift it. Man, that, that's, that's too heavy, brother. Oh, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that's, boy, I have to lift it. Yeah. Oh, that thing, that, that thing heavy. I, I, I can't do that. But then somebody over here on the side and in the back saying, come on. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah. Come on. Oh. You can do it. Stop saying what you can't do. <laughs> Stop saying. Well, I don't know. Stop saying that. Maybe. I need somebody behind me and in front of me to tell me I can do it. You know what we normally do when we come with something like this? You know what we normally do? We roll it along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. we just roll it along. Yeah. We just roll it along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm doing pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. I ain't picked it up yet. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta preach this boy. So you just roll it along. Yeah. And I lie. We got stuff right now. We just roll it along. Yeah, well, you know, things gonna come, things gonna happen. Now, when are you gonna be in carriage enough to say, you know what? I believe now that I'm ready. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna reach down. <laughs> I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to pick it up. Because <laughs> yeah. I've been carrying it up, uh, and they kept telling me that I can do it. <laughs> and I did it. Yeah. I did it. I, I picked it up. Uh, Joshua, you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to continue to encourage you over and over and over again until you know That's right. <laughs> that you can pick it up. Yeah. Uh, now watch this, watch this. Let me get to the lesson in love. I mercy. What is it that you're gonna have to lose? See, you gotta lose some stuff. Mm -hmm. If you if you if you gonna carry Come it on. and pick this up, yeah. you're gonna have to lose some stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're in training, you know what they tell you to do? No, you can't eat all that bad stuff. Yeah. No, you can't eat that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You gotta stay in training. Mm -hmm. If you if, if you gonna carry this, because you gotta carry this. Well, the first thing as 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 a child of God, see, you need to lose your bad attitude. Mm -hmm. We got too many folk with bad attitude. You gotta lose your bad attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that carry it. How do I stay in carries? Come on, come. How do I stay in carries? Well, most of us, if we ain't careful. Uh, we got a bad attitude. Yeah. Some of them got bad attitude towards you. Well, I don't know. There's some people out there. You know some people out there that change some people. They ain't no good. Mm -hmm. huh. That's a folk with your family ain't no good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a folk on your job ain't no good. You still go to work. Yeah. <laughs> and why are you pointing fingers and make yeah. point back to you? Yeah. Somebody say, let me preach up to you. Yes. You got you to lose the bad and the negative mm -hmm. attitude. Mm -hmm. You want your wife to be better? Come from him. Preach mm -hmm. one thing. Tell a good thing. Yeah. You know, 
that woman can't cook no ham. But if you if you encourage her along the way, that's right. Uh, baby, get you a cookbook, you know. And when you taste it, you know, say, this tastes better than the last one, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah, that's right. I always had time to preach right here. Yeah. Right. You keep complimenting the person, that's right. and the person will try that's to right. do better, and they will do better. Yeah, that's it. Stop telling everybody how bad your husband is. <laughs> Maybe you encourage him. Yeah. He'll be better. Stop talking about your bad children. My children bad because they run with your children. That's all right. Yeah. All of them bad. But you got to encourage them. That's right. Yeah. And they bring back some stuff from home. And, you know, it's like some little puppies and dogs bring all that stuff back and put it in your yard. That's all right. But you still got to encourage them. See, the power is encouragement. Why do you think you see it three times? I got to stay on this board. He ain't ready. He ain't. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Joshua oh, ooh, I'm was not ready when God first gave him the task. Yeah. He was not ready. Man, I'm going to be with you. I got you. Yeah. I'm going to be there. Yeah, but I ain't going to leave you. I'm, I'm going to be right there with you. He had to keep telling him three times. Why else in the Bible did you know that God encouraged a man three times? Yeah. Yeah. God just tell you what he wants you to do. That's Leave it. it alone. That's it. But Joshua, he knew that Joshua, yeah, you my man. But I gotta get you ready while you can stay and carry. You know how you stay and carry? Lose the bad attitudes. From day 31. If God be for us, yes. I like that attitude. Yeah. I like that job. Ha! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. If I see, if I really believe that God is for me, right. where about you being against me? Right. Not much you, yeah. you, know, you know, some folk out here yeah. don't like you, brother. Yeah. 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 It's all right. Now, now let me say it again. No, no, no. Yeah. There's some folk out here, really, I mean, they don't care for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's all right. Yeah. That's his prayer. That's some folk out here, really don't care for you. Yeah. Right. you know? right. And you know what? You got to say, that's all right. Yeah. They'll be all right. That's all right. <laughs> They'll be all right. Yeah. They'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's not going to affect me. Because no. uh -uh. <laughs> I know God is yes. for me. My yes. attitude is yes. still going to be all right with you. Yes. How you doing? Yes. <laughs> you doing all right this morning? <laughs> How you doing? You know what? Because I'm good. Because if God be for me, yes. who is it that's going to be against me? Uh, <laughs> and I, I'm going to stay in carriage. How you stay in carriage? The first thing, you got to lose the bad attitude. Man. Just go ahead and love me anyhow. Don't make no difference. That's right. Mm -hmm. I ain't got an attitude toward nobody no more. Right. You used to. Yeah. Tell the truth and then die. Tell the truth and then die. That's right. You used to. Yeah. You don't bother me no more. Yeah. All right. You don't hear me better off. See, he ain't listen to me. Every you listen to me, I say they don't bother me no more. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. yeah. And I already know you don't like me. You don't care for me. But that's all right. You know what? You have a problem. I don't. Uh, because I know who's on my side. God <laughs> is still on my side. Mm -hmm. That's why my attitude is good. Mm -hmm. How can you How can you keep smiling? Yeah. How can you shake that person's hand? Yeah. How can you wear I know you don't like them. No, I don't like their way. But I'm all right. I'm good. All right. I'm good, man. Right. Huh. I'm, I'm learning how to stay in church. You got to lose, lose that bad attitude with that person, with that, that family member, with that person on the job, uh, with, that, with that neighbor. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know that neighbor don't like you. You got to lose that, uh, that attitude. Yeah. And then you got to lose that bad mindset. That's just, you know, people say, that's just the way I think. Mm -hmm. I always had that time right here. You need to stop yeah. thinking like that. <laughs> That's just the way I say. But don't you think it's time for you to stop thinking like that? Yeah. Don't you think it's time? Yeah. It's right. not the, it's this, is, yeah. this, is, this is just me, honey. Yeah. You know, I, I, you know, ain't used to me faking and shaking. That's just me. Well, you need to do something about me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> ah, preach one day. That's right. That's right. You need to do something about me. If you're thinking like that, you need to get rid of that bad mindset. That's right. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so smart. Uh, you know, I'm just stupid with myself. That's just me. 
Yeah, but me done got ugly, and me need to straighten up so they'll look better. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Lose the bad mindset? <laughs> that's it. That's it. What, 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 is, what does he say? Run around and do that. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to what? I like this. Set. That what I say? Flash it down. Did you? Set. Yeah. You know what set means? If you don't take your mind off the folk on the job, the folk in your family, the folks that don't like you, you, know, you got to set your mind. Yeah. Set it. Heck, you got you to gotta get focused. <laughs> Let your focus be somewhere else rather on those folk that are negative. The folk don't care about you. you uh, Lose a bad mindset. That's right. So, so how am I going to lose my bad mindset? Y'all yeah, yeah. don't know. See, I know she don't like me. That's I, right. I know that. Get rid of your mindset. You read so many people hold things for years. Yeah, I've been holding this since 42. Because you won't change your mindset. Right. Right. Your mind is already set against that person. You know. That's been for years. What changes for years? Yeah. Paul hmm. oh, said, so "What? Do what? Set? Set your affection. I love that. Set your affection. What you really love and really like. Set your affections on things, on above. things that where above. You worry about these folk down there on the earth and." All this stuff. I'm worried about my car, my clothes, and Lord have mercy. My house and everything. God bless you. You got a house? That's yeah. fine. You got an apartment? That's fine. Yeah. You living? That's fine. You don't like? That's fine. Set your affections on things that are above. above. Not on know. things on the earth. Where? Not what you say? Things on the earth. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Not. Did he say not? Not, not. not on things on, on the earth. I am so engulfed about, you know, what's on the earth. All this stuff down here is just for us to use. Yeah. Ha! Well, you better free. Yeah. It's just for you. You know what? It's all on loan anyway. That's it. Ha! Yeah. Ha! Boy, you better preach up in here. Thank you. <laughs> It's just a loan anyway. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. In a few days, somebody else will be driving your car, wearing your clothes, living in your house, uh, eating out of your place. Mm -hmm. It's just a loan. Get rid of that bad mindset. Oh, I sure like that. Man, that's a good looking coat you got on. Look at that shirt. But you know what? After a while, it's just a loan. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I would see somebody else come walking in there. Yeah, Brother Robin, you know, God is calling me. I got this coat. It's just a loan. Yeah. Set your perfection on things above and not on things on, on the earth. earth. Somebody said, where you living? Yeah, whatever God messed me with down here, Amen. I love it. I love it. I enjoy it. That's it. But don't get it twisted. Yes. Don't yes. get it twisted now. That's it. God is still my Savior and my that's Lord. It, that's it. Yes. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. Hold on. Here you drive a nice car. Here you live in a nice house. Don't get it twisted. That's it for us. Yeah. I know who my Savior is. That's I know who my Lord is. That's I know who my God is. Yes. <laughs> my affection. Huh. Not on things on earth. Yeah. The things that are Lose your bad attitude. Lose your bad mind. Stop thinking like you do. Yeah. And stop saying, that's just me. Change me. If that's just you and that's how you think, change it. Change it. Can you shake somebody's hand that you know don't like you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't now. Mm -hmm. Preach yeah, one's yeah, hand. Yeah. <laughs> Preach. I can't can now. Yeah. I've grown in the brother. Yeah. It's all right. If you don't like that, you're doing. It's I'm okay. good. It's okay. Uh, I'm grown enough. It's all right now. Okay. You know why? I got my mind set right. That's it. How do you stay in the carriage? Mm -hmm. 
lose a bad attitude, lose a bad mindset, and lose the bad determination. Whoa. Yeah. Uh-oh. Whoa. Yeah. Uh-oh. I can't make it no happen. Yeah. This ain't gonna come about no happen. This ain't gonna happen no happen. Lose that negativity. The bad determination. Determination. Yeah. And you know what some folks do? You know what some folks do? They, they, they go, they go, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. you know, nothing, nothing gonna work out for me. Okay. Are you think? Yeah. 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 You think? Yeah. You know what's the way I sit down? Nothing gonna no work for me. You think? Yeah. I like that one thing. Yeah. You think? I, like I know people that say, well, I just quit trying, but nothing don't seem to work. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Get up off it. Yeah. 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 Lose a man. Determination. Yeah. Preach, Fontaine. I can't do it. I can do it. Well, I, you know, I tried it once, and I ain't going to do it no more. Listen, Josh. Mm. I didn't try that. Man, it's pool stayed 38 years. Mm. That's it. Trying to go down to the pool. 38 years trying to get out of there. I wonder if he... You know, if that man didn't have the right determination, and I think about him all the time, because I don't know if I could have made it 38 years dragging himself back and forth. That's determination. I'm going to get in this, you hear me? I'm going to get in this world. Jesus comes by. <laughs> Lord, that person. Mm -hmm. Woo! They and all these things were more than popular through him that loved us. That man became a conqueror. That's it. You know why? No. He got rid of his bad determination. No, 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 no. Man, you done done this for 20 years. Yeah. Why you keep comfortable? It's all right. I'm going to drag myself back down to this pool, and I'm going to try to get in this water. Why are you doing that? You know people around here talking about it. That old crazy fool. That man keeps dragging himself. He know he can't get in there. Somebody will run down there before he gets in the water and jump in there and heal himself. But every year, lose that bad determination. Do you know I'm a conqueror? Yes. Do you understand who you are? Paul says, you're more than conquerors. Stop thinking like that. We can't, we can't do this. I don't know. You're a conqueror. Help us. Change your mindset. Help us. Your determination is bad. Help us. Can't do that. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I see seniors, even my wife, pain all in their body. Getting up. Still getting up. Still getting up. <laughs> yeah. Going around. Aches and pain. My hip is hurting. Still getting up. Yeah. My leg is hurting. Still getting up. My knees yeah. is popping. Still getting up. But I'm still yeah. getting up in yeah. the morning saying, thank you, Lord, for another day. Even though pain in my body, and I'm taking pills, and it don't take it away. It just hip it a little bit. Yeah. But that's all right yeah. with my yeah. determination. Yeah. Lose the bad determination. Yeah. And some folks just, just live over well. I can't get better no way. It's just... Mm. The Lord don't take me. I can't get better no way. Mm. I'm gonna live life to God called me. Yes, yes. God ain't called you yet. Yes. Get up. Yes. Yes. Get up. Yes. That's it. Get rid of the bad determination. Get rid of it because you're more than a comfort. But you know what? You gotta think like that. If you going to stay in charity, you got to believe that you're more than a conqueror. If you don't stay in charity, so the man kept going, kept going. How many years was it? Thirty-eight. Mm. How many years, brother? Trying for the same thing with no success. Yeah. You didn't catch that. You never thought of me. You're talking about staying huh, in the carriage? Yeah. yeah. 38 years, 37 years with no success. But I'm going to get out of that one day. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Yeah. 
I'm going to make it. Everybody else was saying no. No, I'm going to make it. But after a while, because he stayed in carriage, yes. Jesus came back. <laughs> Looked at the man. What would you have? Savior! Jesus! He said, what you want me to do? He said, I want to walk. I want to walk. Jesus didn't tell him. This is what I like about blessings. Stay in carriage. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't tell him, now you go down to the water. Yeah. I've already blessed the water. No. You know why? Because he's God. He is the blessing. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, now, let me say that again. He is the blessing. You don't have to go to the water to get the blessing. I am the blessing. Yes. You're talking to the blessing. Don't worry about the water anymore. I am the blessing. How do I get here? You got here because you, never, you lost that bad determination. You were determined. God said, take up your bed and walk. Somebody right now has a bad determination. Lose your bad determination. See that? Lose your attitude. Lose your bad mindset. If you want to stay in carriage. Yeah. In our text, in our text, chapter 1 and verse number 10, you know what the Bible says? Then Joshua commanded his officers. Verse 10, verse 10. Then. What do you mean, then? Let me help you right here. After he was in carriage. He was, it didn't say that before. No, 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 no. But after he was in carriage, Brother Robert, it says then he commanded his officers. Now I've got my blessing and I'm ready to run. Y'all know what I'm saying? Now that I got my blessing, I'm all right. Now that I got my blessing, I'm good to go. <laughs> then he commanded his officers. That's what you want to do. I'm ready to go now. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You've carried me three times. I'm ready now. Let me command my officers. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to do whatever is necessary. I'm ready. I'm ready. And I'm going to stay in carriage. He done got me to the point that I'm ready. He kept telling me I can do it. <laughs> yeah. He kept telling me. Oh, I can do it. I can yeah, do it. I, can do it. Yeah. I got it now. He kept on telling me I can do it. You can do this. Hold on to it. You can do it, man. Don't yeah. worry about that weight. I can carry the weight. I don't even have to let it go anymore. You know what? I've been in carrying. Somebody told me you can do it. Pick it up. Hold it. Keep on going. And now I got it. And now I got it. Ah. Then once in a while, if it do get a little heavy, put this on, brother Rob. I'll put it in the oven. Do the switch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, what you talking about, brother? Yeah. Because somebody encouraged me, told me I could do it. That was a, put it up over your head. Yeah. He said, hold it up here. <laughs> ah, you better hold it down here. Pick it all the way up. Pick it all the way up. Ready. I'm in a car. I'm ready now. I'm in carriage now. Yeah. I'm running for Jesus now. I'm in carriage. I don't care what you say. Go ahead and talk about me. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm a mind already fixed. I'm good. I'm gone. Yeah. I'm carrying it. <laughs> I'm in carriage, y'all. Say what you want to. Don't make no difference. I'm in carriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. 